Welcome! Next Tech Group presents Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 and the new navigational flow. I'll show you some basic navigation through the new environment so you can feel familiar, as well as share with you some new cool tricks. Reach me at 206-832-0448 or email me at askkim at nexttechgroup.com. Let's begin. So right away you'll notice the left navigation bar is completely gone and the ribbon has simply disappeared. This is terrific. We have way more workspace and we don't have to look at all that clutter. The navigation bar is now at the top of the screen with an auto hide feature. With a no clicking default, you just simply hover over the Microsoft Dynamics logo up in the upper left corner and you'll notice the five tiles will roll down. They're large and easy to manipulate when using a mobile tablet. We'll get into mobility in the near future. To the right of the logo, you'll see a house. I've set mine up with the sales entity and the dashboard as my default tab. To the right of your home is your path. So anywhere at any time in the application, you can see how you arrived and easily backtrack if you need to. Now, as you hover over the sales entity, you'll notice your related areas will roll down for you. Your core entities are in color as your dashboards, accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities. The rest of your non-core entities are in dark gray. To move through a potentially long list of tiles, just simply use your scroll wheel on your mouse, or you can select the right arrow on the right side of the screen to expand your list of tiles. Now, as you'll notice, almost every tile has a down arrow to the right of it. This is your most recently accessed items. This is very similar to opening up Word or Excel. It functions as if you're opening up your most recently accessed documents. I know you'll enjoy using the shortcut. Heading back up to the nav bar, you'll see on the right-hand side a plus sign with a circle next to the word Create. This is called the new Global Quick Create. This is a pretty cool feature. So what it does is it rolls down uh, your options to create any type of record, including your activities, as you see here on the left-hand side in red, from anywhere in the application. It rolls down a transparent half of a page in size form for you to enter in all the necessary data that you have and then simply save. It will release a gold banner at the top of the screen and it will indicate that you successfully created this new record and if you'd like to view it now or continue working on the page that you originated from. This is a great new feature because it allows you to stay in page. It's quick like the name indicates and it's super convenient so you no longer have to navigate all the way back to where you originally started. To the right of the Quick Create is the name that you logged in as and the solution you're working in. For those of you who have multiple solutions, this is quite handy. To the right of that would be your person icon and that allows you to sign out. And to the right of the person icon is your settings. Within these settings, you can set up how your homepage will look like, as well as tracking of your emails. Since your ribbons disappeared, it's been replaced with a wonderful command bar that's streamlined and dynamically changes. As you move throughout the application, these commands will populate four or five commands at one given time. Now in the middle of the form is our new section called What's New? This is where your Yammer activation would be listed, as well as your system hosts, such as creation of accounts or opportunities or leads, and threads that you or I would like to follow. We can write, hey, we like this, or we have a question or a comment on it, like it, delete it from view, etc. Now for those of you who are out in the field and just need a quick answer and want to avoid a lot of back and forth email, this is a great way for you to streamline your communication amongst your team. On the right, you'll see a new entity profile image. It's designed to help you connect with colleagues, so you can simply upload a picture to help you identify with those you do business with. Your max picture size should be 144 by 144 pixel to fit nicely on the page. Now, as I scroll down my dashboard view, my last component listed as my activities. You'll notice that the system views and my ability to create my personal views are still present, similar to 2011. What has changed is this new flat look. No more do we see these lines separating every single row. I can have the option to quickly delete this row 
or I can hover over and right click and have some more options available to me. The minimized look allows us to have a clean workspace. If I want to create a new record, I just simply click on the plus on the right hand side to add a new record. These are all my activity types that I can select from. If I choose to pop out the window in a grid view and enable my alphabet sorting mechanism as well as my charts, I can do so here. This is helpful and quick if I want to compare some of my, say, my closed activities to my open activities one day. And it's still overlaid on top of my original page, not losing my place. In the command bar, you'll see these three dots. This is my more command feature. If I click on it, you'll see more items drop down from the list. And now you'll see why there's only four or five commands provided to us at one given time. For those of you who like to email links to colleagues, uh, please pay attention to this section. You'll see that there's a email link in the command bar. Uh, because we used to be able to copy and paste a URL into a body of the email and then send it off to our colleagues, we no longer can we no longer have the ability to do so. We actually use that URL for the backward and forward browsing capabilities in 2013. So just remember to go to your command bar or right click over your record that you'd like to send to your colleague and simply send it on your uh, more menu drop down item. So a lot of you, I'm sure, use a dashboard or a filtered view. So for this example, I'm going to show you my list of my active accounts. And I want to update every single account today. So if I'm going to move through a potentially long list, I just simply open up the first record I want to manipulate, update my activities, my notes, my phone calls, mark them complete, set up new ones. And on the far right hand side, once I'm done with the record, I'm going to hover over these arrows pick the next record. This is a great new navigational tool. I no longer have to close out every single window that I open. I simply just move to the next. Because of the autosave that happens every 30 seconds, as well as when you step off the record, I don't have to worry about closing, saving and closing my, my windows. If I want to move back to the previous record, just simply click the up arrow. Or you can also use your back browser window right here at the top. If I want to see my grid view from where I originally started and see my entire list that I'm working on, I simply navigate to my nav bar, click on my accounts, and my view quickly populates. One last navigational feature I want to share with you is how to make an open phone call that has a future due date or none at all. As I said, when you create phone calls on your records in 2013, they auto-complete. So if you want to create an open record, simply go to your uh, entity, your activity tile, create a new phone call, type in your subject, set your regarding record that you want to reference it to, set your due date and your appropriate time up in the gold headers, and put in your phone number that you'd like to attach to this phone call. You can force save it or you can auto save it because it's automatically saved every 30 seconds. Look for our next primer, which will be a day in the life of a salesperson, converting a lead to an opportunity, writing in a product, and moving it on to a quote. So that's what I have today. Thanks for joining us. Please feel free to reach us for a quick 30 minute walkthrough of the new application. You can reach us at Ask Kim at nexttechgroup.com or call us at 206-832-0448. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.